what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to make the 3d rotating text effect without any plugins so let's just get right into the video all right so i got a few clips here already but most of them you shouldn't really worry about them so the first one is just a reference uh because sometimes i forget stuff you know and then the ones below it are just a blur a warp and a shake which i just all disabled for now we can just enable them later to like show the full result you know but for now the most important clips are uh, your original clip so i just made a simple velocity on it and then your mask so it's just a simple mask of the character in the clip all right so the first thing you want to do is um go to your mask and then you want to make a new text layer so go to the text tool and then, uh, as we did in our edits, we just want to make something like XXXX. Wait. <laughs> uh, we just want to do that, you know. And then a very important thing is to center it. So, Control alt plus Home. It's a hard keybind, you know, but just hold Control alt and then uh, the Home key if you have that. And then it will basically center this thing here, the pivot point, or I don't know what it's called, actually. All right, so then you want to go to Align. Uh, and then click this button here. And if you don't see this align tab, you can just go to window and then here it should, oh yeah, at the top here, you just got to enable this one. All right. So you want to click the align button and then click this one and this one. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that you want the text to uh, fill out the entire screen. So uh, at least on the width, you know, so for example, like this, now it almost touches the edges. So that's perfect. If you don't do this, I'll just show you later, uh, then your circle text will basically not be fully filled out and that will just not look good. So you just want to cut it to the right length, control shift plus D. And then you want to add an effect called CC cylinder like that. All right. And then as you can already see, it will create this. Now we need to do it in two parts. So the first one will firstly render uh, the outside. So just set the render to outside. As you can see, we only got the outside of our circle. If you switch it to inside, you can see it's like the opposite. So make sure it's on the outside and then you can also change the width uh, or like the radius. Uh, to just go around his body you know all right then the next thing is to go to light and then you can just make it a little bit brighter and then you can change all sorts of settings for example in shading you can also change like the ambience and you just got to see what it does for example this makes it a little more brighter as well and then the diffuse you can make it like a little more sharp so just got to try this out you know uh, so you just want to close shading and light as well now you want to make it uh, move a little so let's go to rotation and now you can just change around the rotation for example the y rotation uh we won't change that the z rotation as you can see you can make it a little bit tilted and then maybe the x rotation like this all right perfect now the next thing is to go to the position and then you want to just move it like this all right and now we can also animate it actually so let's go to the beginning go to the position x then press u let's just make another keyframe here and then here in the beginning, we want to put it off screen, something like this. And then we can also select them all, press F9 and go to the graph editor. And here we can just make a graph that looks like this. So it basically just goes in the screen very fast and then it slows down a little. Now we can also animate the rotation. So let's go to the Y rotation. As you've seen uh, before, it basically just rotates on its own axis, which is pretty cool. Let's do it for the entire clip. So let's just rotate it. And also, if you didn't fully fill out your screen, so let's just disable this. If you didn't uh, put it right to the edge, it won't rotate in a very beautiful way. There will be like uh, some kind of space between it, which doesn't really look good. So let's just select them all, press F9, and then we can just make this graph. We can make it even steeper, actually. You can also make a third keyframe in the middle. So you can really slow it down very much. Something like this. I actually want to rotate it even more, so just increase this value. And then you can just go to the graph editor again and make this keyframe in the center. Okay, that's way better. Now, the next thing you want to do is copy this thing here. So control plus D and then put one below your mask. So as you can see, the yellow layer is our mask. You want to put one above it and one below it. The one below it, you want to set it to inside. And then the one above it, you just want to keep it on outside. And as you can see, it just rotates beautifully, uh, basically behind and above your mask but um, it's kind of like an illusion, right? So now it looks like it's just rotating around him. Now I did, let me just look at the reference, add a few more effects, for example, this as the sort RGB, but that's not the most important part about this tutorial, but you know, you can just copy the settings if you want. I also added the deep glow, so let's just copy them. 
and then like this. And then in the edit itself, I added some color grading to make it look even better. Uh, but that's for a different tutorial, you know. You can also enable these things again. So the lens flare as well. So I'll probably explain all these other things in a different tutorial, but just to see what you can, you know, create with it, with the full package. As you can see, that's how you create the rotated text effect. Looks really cool. Hopefully you've learned a lot. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. And if you want me to help you even more with After Effects, then make sure to go to the first link in the description down below. All right, bye-bye.